If you are subscribed to my Discord server, you may have followed a short discussion about cooling water temperatures. Since in my last video I showed you what I use as a reservoir for um, the cooling water of the K40 laser, I got asked quite often what temperature the cooling water I am using has and uh, how relevant temperature is in order to properly work with the machine. Now, today I want to answer this question. Straight off the beginning, yes, temperature um, does play a very important role in CO2 laser cutting. Experts recommend the temperature to stay between 16 and 21 degrees centigrade. I have noticed that uh, my K40 is not very particular when it comes um, to uh, the cooling water temperatures. Uh, for my machine, everything below 26 degrees centigrade seems not to make uh, so much of a difference. But every machine and tube is different. If the temperature gets higher, uh, the intensity drops. Now, um, it can be just me or maybe I just misaligned something, but I had one experience where the water temperature surpassed 30 degrees centigrade, what caused me to do three passes instead of a single one. So, um, you see what range of power loss we are talking about. But um, to prove this observation and to test what temperature works best, today, in the name of science, my Patreons and my subscribers, I will risk the life of my laser tube to find out. Now, before I start this non-scientific experiment, hear a word from our sponsor. Rage. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but for those who hope to see me purposely destroying my laser tube, uh, check the title again. And no, I will not use uh, boiling water. Um, even I talked about using dry ice um, to super cool the tube uh, with my Patreons. Uh, I will not do this in this video. Cooling the tube, by the way, um, below freezing or even super cool, uh, super cool salt water or alcohol would not only corrode the tubing, but also could build up uh, condensation uh, on the laser tube or in the laser tube, um, what it may cause to crack. Instead, I will try to make several test cuts uh, at a range reaching from around 10 degrees centigrade to 45 degrees centigrade. As uh, it is more difficult to cool the water rather than heating it up, I will do this first. For my experimental setup, I use my old cooling water reservoir um, and my existing pump next to the K40 to have easy access. To control the temperature, I will use ice cubes and a water heater. I have my trusty laser guard and added a separate thermometer to monitor the temperature. To start my experiment and as a control, I will do a simple routine cut with uh, the water at room temperature, what in my case is around 17 degrees centigrade. I am cutting out a rectangle using 4mm plywood, 15 milliamps on the laser, what by the way I consider as the highest output power my K40 can deliver, and a speed rate of 8mm per second. When the mirrors are aligned correctly and um, the lens is clean, not as mine that had cracked before, the cut should go right through uh, in a single pass. Remember, even the K40 supposedly stands for 40 watts. I would rename this machine K20 or K30, depending uh, on the tube and power supply manufacturing day. My components were definitely made on a Monday. Now let's bring the feed rate up to the point it won't cut through ever so slightly. Okay, for my machine, 13 millimeters per second is a bit too fast. Now the million dollar question, will my K40 cut all the way through when the water is cooler? Let's bring the temperature down to 12 degrees centigrade. Now let's put in some ice and see what happens. So we are around 12 degrees and I don't want to lose too much time. We'll realign a piece of wood and uh, let's go with the uh, same procedure, speed at uh, 13 millimeters per second. All right, let's have a look. I would say this is kind of the exact same result. You still see here the lines, but uh, the cut did not went through. Maybe a little bit more than before. Hmm. A little bit. Um, let's cool down the water even further. 
I uh, let me move this around. I got me one of these cool packs. Let's throw this in and let's see if we can bring down the temperature to around. Well, we'll see. Let's say nine degrees centigrade. Okay, I found four more of these cooling packs. Let's throw them in there. So we are at around 10 degrees centigrade now. Um, this is all I can get with the ice resources I have. Um, but you can see that already um, it starts condensating on the outside of the reservoir. So um, it is quite cold or quite cool for, um, well, for cooling liquid. So um, let's give it a try at 9.8 degrees or 9.9 .9 degrees centigrade with a 13 millimeter feed rate. Okay, so you can see that it, apparently it's cut through on the edge here. That could be an alignment thing, but um, this definitely got through. Let's try this again on the other side of this piece of, of wood. Let's see. See again, it cut it through on the edge here. I can break it out, but Oh, now I see why this is. You see, this is ply, bad plywood. You see, there is no, no filling in there. So this is why it cuts through on one side. Let's do this again with another piece of wood, a different piece. So not 100% fair because of the knot here. And also it was a little bit uh, on the edge here. But you see, in the end, we have like the same result. You see that this line against the grain is still not good. Okay, so conclusion um, about cooling down the water to uh, 8 or 9 degrees centigrade or 10 degrees centigrade. As you can see, we're now back to 11, just from cutting two little rectangles. Uh, it does not really make any difference, at least not for my machine. Let's move on to the next uh, section. I will take this stuff out and then we will heat the water and see how bad it can get. We know that the laser will be a little bit weaker, but by how much? So I will do two passes. I will do one pass in uh, 30 millimeters as we did with the cooled water. And then I will go back to the, our control speed, which was eight millimeters per second to see the result. Okay, so even with 13 millimeters per second, we can already see a difference because when I turn this around, you see that there is no marking at all on the other side. So the laser already got clearly weaker than before. Let's try out uh, 8 millimeters per second. Okay, so let's see what we get. Okay, you see that the cut did not went through as before with 8 millimeters per second. So you see how increasingly the difference is uh, by just raising the temperature up for a couple of degrees. You see, we now have a result that is almost similar to a 13 millimeter cut um, or 12 millimeter cut at uh, at lower temperature. You see that um, again against the grain, it did not went through. I mean, I can break this piece out and then like sand it down or something, and it's still fine. But um, yes, that's actually a very surprising uh, result. So yes, even three degrees centigrade make such a difference. Let's uh, heat up the water even more. So we are now at around 25 degrees centigrade. I will do another pass uh, with eight millimeters. After that, I will go up to 30 degrees and then I will try 40 degrees. I'm not recommending you doing this. Uh, it's a pretty bad idea probably. Now I am curious, how does this look at 25 degrees centigrade? Let's see. And uh, don't mind this, this was a previous cut. You see, this is the other way around. And you see that now with eight millimeters, the cut is not going through at all. I cannot even break this thing out without destroying it or without breaking the whole piece apart. So again, it got worse. How worse did it get? Well, this is actually better. 
this is almost an improvement. So maybe it's a thing of chance that sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I can break this free and uh, I have my rectangle more or less cut out. Interesting. Okay, let's rise the temperature to 40 degrees centigrade. 40 degrees, 8 millimeters per second. Right, let's see. Oh, that went right through. Now, the last two results were a bit odd. 30 and 40 degrees, they both resulted in a straight cut through. <laughs> what well, is quite weird. So I thought, how can this be? And I think the only explanation I have is that um, usually um, the whole thing works the other way around. So the laser heats up the cooling water um, and the cooling water cools down the laser. In this case, I'm heating the water. So um, the laser tube is not on that right temperature. So um, I can show you this. Um, you see that we are now at uh, 37 degrees as the machine cooled down a little. When I turn on the machine and we are looking on the laser guard here, you can see that the laser actually only is at 33 degrees centigrade. Um, this does not have something to do with the, the cooling fan because this comes after the laser. So it comes from the pump straight into the laser and from the laser through the system back into the uh, drains back into the, the cooling reservoir. So um, I think what I should do is I should heat up the water to 45 degrees and check on uh, the laser guard at which temperature um, the laser tube actually is or the water that runs through the laser tube. All right, I'm curious. I will try this once and uh, then we'll see what happens, but I'm not doing this twice, I think. All right, we are at 38 degrees centigrade inside of the laser tube now. And, uh, well, the cut still went through. Interesting, very interesting. Let's see. Okay, that did not went through. Let's see. And again, this almost went through right away. Interesting. Now, this is an interesting conclusion. We saw that the output differed dramatically when heating up the cooling water. Three degrees were enough to weaken the output enough to not cut through four millimeter plywood anymore. Uh, however, the later experiments showed that even at 40 degrees centigrade, the laser can cut through plywood by chance. Even the result differ from cut to cut. My explanation why this happens is that other than in reality, in this experiment it was me heating the water, not the laser tube itself. In this case, the tube so as the hoses were not at the right temperature. Even I waited until the laser guard went up to 37 degrees centigrade, the inner laser tube and uh, the gases are remaining at a lower temperature. And it will take uh, quite a very long time to heat them up uh, that much. All after all, I found that for me, 12 to 18 degrees centigrade are the ideal temperatures. 18 to 25, um, however, did not work at all. And um, 30 to 40 degrees surprisingly worked, surprisingly worked better again. Of course, higher temperatures will shorten the life uh, of your laser tube dramatically. Cooling down the water under 12 degrees centigrade, on the other hand, uh, did not improve the results, at least not in my case. So if you keep sticking around 12 to 18 degrees, it will give you the best results. I hope this video was helpful and you enjoyed. There is a whole encyclopedia about the K40 laser and many interesting other projects on my channel Man Cave Effects, so as interesting and helpful people on my Discord server. Go and check it out, uh, it's all free. You uh, can also support my channel and uh, become a Patreon, links are in the description below. I hope I see you on the next one, until then, see ya.